Everybody pray for me. It's been a day for me. Yeah, yeah. All right, before this video even starts, I just want to say that I just dropped my first merch drop ever with t-shirts and accessories. It would mean a bunch if you guys can go down in the description, check out the website link, and support the channel if you dig anything on the site. Please make sure you guys go do that. I want to do floor mats for the scooters and a few more things like that. So leave a thumbs up if you guys want to see more like that. All right, boys, jumping right back into the Banshee build. Um, if you watched in the last video, I basically took the whole thing down. I cleaned it a bunch, took off the Nerf bars, took out the carbs. I still got to clean those. Um, did the steering stem, which was bent when I bought the bike. That's kind of why I got a good deal on it, and it was completely bent at the top. And I got one off eBay, sanded it down, polished it, painted it, put that in. Um, had to get a new steering clamp because I was missing the actual O-rings that go inside the steering clamp, so that's on its way here. But something just showed up for the Banshee. Can you guess what's in this box, boys? And this is just a freshy little spoiled treat for the, the Banshee piece, because I really didn't need it, but figured why we have it apart to throw it in there and uh, also a few other things that are coming so actually insanely cold out here right now because in vegas it snowed today which is like super rare it's kind of crazy but it's freezing in the garage homeboy's got his hoodie on let's go open first let's go open the little bag first it's a good spot i think you can tell what it is by that you couldn't tell by the coolant lines it's obviously a radiator piece so, um, I heard a lot about these uh, cheap eBay radiators actually being really good for these bikes. So um, I was pretty surprised. And I figured I'd just give it a try. I like keep grabbing them so aggressively. Okay, we got a little little sticker piece up top. Work is the one I bought. It's just like one I found on eBay. Pretty uh, cheap one, but they had some good reviews on those. So figured I'd grab it. Looks pretty dialed. Welds look pretty decent. But other than that, the other tabs look perfect. This one just looks a little beat for sure. Look at that. That kind of sucks. Look how beat that piece looks. The top beauty piece too. I wonder if it's supposed to be bent like that. I just slapped the radiator in there. I didn't bolt it up or nothing. I just had to put the steering stem on, which is like the actual mount for this thing too. So I figured I'll just sat in there for now and I get to put on the new coolant lines and the thing's gonna look fresh. So I can't wait to get, I got a um, chrome finished steering clamp, I got chrome foot pegs on the way. Um, I'm, my plan is basically everything accessory wise, chrome on the bike and have the frame still silver and then have just clean ass plastics. So that's kind of the look I'm going for. And uh, I can't wait to like start diving more into the motor and upgrade carbs and everything like that. But this is looking good right now. So we'll wait for a few more parts to come in and then we'll throw some more on the Banshee. Right, boys, we're gonna jump into some Banshee work real quick and throw some new parts on. So I got a new steering stem clamp. It was a pain to get this because my neighborhood like put it in someone else's mailbox and I have like a locked mailbox so it was delivered but I couldn't get it for like the last two days. So we got that and we got a super, super pretty gem right here. We got some like OEM Banshee uh, style foot pegs but they're chromed. So I could still bolt up like the stock back guard which I might do. Um, but these are chrome pieces. I plan on getting like the whole motor chrome like I said So went had to get the chrome foot pegs for her and get rid of the big old bulky nerf bars that I did have on her before because Nerf bars are sick and all for racing just so you don't get like tangled up in someone's wheel or like get hooked on anything like a uh, tree or something like that It hit there first, but I'm gonna, it's gonna be more of like a dune rider not a trail bike So I'm not really gonna be riding nothing like that on this gonna throw those on and clean the carbs out and uh, Then probably start putting it together put the new radiator in put the coolant lines in and then she's pretty much rideable all right so if you get one of these radiators just know that you have to use your uh, oem mounts for it with the rubber bushings because it did not come with any so just know that The only line that didn't work was the actual line to the coolant reservoir back here, but I just figured I'm probably gonna delete this coolant reservoir. It sucks I just put this plastic back on um, because I'm probably not gonna keep the air box eventually when I run the single pod filters. So I might as well just get rid of it now and then I can clean up like three lines going back and forth through the bike too, so. Huge upgrades on the Banshee. We got the radiator all in there now. We got the new coolant lines going all the way down, um, back there, and uh, taking out the coolant reservoir. That's what all this is hanging right now. 
But I figured before I start throwing the front together too, I'm gonna throw these new plugs in, some BR8 EIXs. That's always just what I've heard is always the best. People always go back and forth on whether to run eight or nine. I've always heard the best about the eight, so I always just stuck to that. Hey! That's the ass bolt too. Look. These carbs are absolutely filthy, um, so I'm gonna just soak them down in carb cleaner right now, and then pull off the bowls and clean the jets out on them too. But man, they're dirty. All right, boys, so here's how we're looking. We got the fresh radiator in there. We got the nice chrome piece steering stem and steering stem clamp going down with the polished piece. You know, meeting down here at the tie rods with the silver and the polished. We got some brand new radiator lines, some work studios. That's also what the radiator is. We got some new chrome foot pegs from Vito's. Cleaned out the jets and the bolts of carbs. Um, carbs are a little bit clean. I'm gonna clean them again tomorrow. I'm gonna pull out the power washer and actually degrease the engine a little bit more. Power wash the bike again, then throw the carbs on, throw the gas tank on, throw all the front plastics on. I deleted the coolant reservoir um, by running this vent just straight down alongside of my radiator. Um, that's just like the overflow vent. Let's have it and go back to the bottom of the reservoir and then the top reservoir had air vents that went to like the case. I just ran those tubes down, let them vent out that way. Um, and we put some new plugs in. Um, she got some freshy plugs in her. I'm um, gonna have the clean carbs in it. Gonna have a clean air filter when I put it back in. And she's gonna be all per she's gonna be all pretty. So I'm gonna do all that this weekend and all I'm waiting on right now is more fuel line. And then I can put a brand new fuel line in too, get it all freshened up, throw some coolant in there and she should be good to go. Here's a little peek for the boys right here. A little Mop Boys T. This is uh, like my favorite little logo one. This Mop Boys Racing Team. Make sure you guys go in the description, check that. It means a bunch to me and it shows a bunch of support to the channel. So, hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys are liking the Banshee stuff. And uh, that's going to do it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.